Welcome back to another how-to episode from Panasonic Pro AV. The series consists of a number of videos that we'll use to cover questions that we frequently get asked. In this episode, we'll be looking at our auto tracking software and how to connect our RP60 and RP150 camera controllers. So let's take a look at what's required and how we can set up quickly and simply. So there's three core elements to the setup. We need our PC or our server with the software installed. We need our PTZ cameras. And finally, we need our RP controllers. Now with here, we have the auto tracking software installed on my PC here in the studio. And first we need to go to our network settings and make sure that the network adapter is in the range that we need it to be. We can do this simply by going to the ethernet, adapter options, and selecting under properties, IPv4. In here, we then put in the IP address we need to suit the network environment. This IP address is very important because it's going to be the IP address that we input into the control panel for the Track and Connect function. Now that I've assigned the network adapter IP address, I'm then going to go to the auto tracking software, where I've already pre-set up two of our PTZs that we have here in the studio. As a quick refresher, we can use the auto search function tool inside, and select our two PTZ cameras that we have here, which are now on standby, ready to activate for tracking. Finally, I'm going to go to the RP60 control panel where I've already assigned the UB150 and HE42 PTZ camera like I have in our auto tracking software. For the track and connect function, we need to hit menu, system, tracking. And then we need to make sure we activate LAN on tracking connection, input the IP address that we have for our network adapter on the PC, and finally insert the port number, which is 1337 as standard. Now that the cameras are connected, we also need to make sure that we assign our user functions. So I go to number two under function, user assign, and here I can assign track and connect and tracking under user one and user two. As we can see here under user one and user two, we have this reflected in the settings. And now if I activate track and connect on our UB150, we can see inside the software that is now connecting to the PTZ, resetting to its home position, and now preparing for the tracking process. Here we can see inside the studio, I can now trigger our preset as well, and it's already tracking me. If I press user two, it can then deactivate the tracking. Then I can switch back to manual control, activate user two again, and then the tracking is already started. Now you can really start to see the advantages where you can just activate the user button, switching between manual and automatic. If I want to connect to a different camera, I can press user one, which will now disconnect from the UB150. I select camera two on my RP60, user one again to then begin the tracking connect process. And now we can see that the tracking is on standby. And when I press user two, the PTZ is now tracking me. Same process as before. When I take off user two, I can then move the PTZ freely around. So this is all done very simply over a network and it's a really great advantage for different operators if they're by themselves and just need an extra camera that they can quickly activate for the tracking or switch between for those stage shots, either again in education, corporate or live environments where it's absolutely suited to. So thank you very much for watching.